All right, switching gears. I saw I saw Unwokable tweet out this book, The Gay BCs. This is not really news. I just thought it was crazy. And and kind of playing off of like Ted Cruz showing uh anti-racist baby in the Supreme Court confirmation hearings. Do you guys want to read what they're teaching kids? Because he's got the whole book here. Who wants to learn the gay BCs? This is a real book. When they say, when they say, say gay, it's not all they want to say. Here is everything they want to teach kindergartners, five years old, through third graders, eight years old. Of course, the Don't Say Gay Bill in Florida. We talked about it a couple times this week with the Disney stuff going on. The Don't Say Gay Bill, which doesn't even have gay in the bill. But it basically just says that you cannot teach kindergarten through third graders about about sexuality and gender. You can't teach it. Of course, the, the left wants to be teaching things at that age because when they get into third grade, third grade is a magical year. Third grade is when most people turn eight. Do you know what happens after you turn eight? Your brain becomes less pliable to new information. Now, that's not to say it's not pliable. Of course, it's still pliable. But anything that you teach a kid before they turn like eight or nine years old, that information leaches into their brain and it never leaves. It is sucked in there forever. That's why you want to teach kids languages when they're younger. My husband started learning the English language when he's like seven years old. That's what they do in other countries. They teach them when they're younger. And so that's why books like this are written. To teach kids children when their brains are really too young to even be able to differentiate this information and then the information gets stuck in there and it stays for the entire rest of their life let's read what they're teaching the gay bcs a is for ally a friend who is there to stand up for you with strength love and care b is for bye you can shout it out loud. I like boys and girls. That makes me proud. C is for coming out. You're already, you're ready to share what you feel deep inside. It's okay to be scared. They're teaching about coming out. In elementary school, Pete Buttigieg did not come out as gay until he was in his 30s. And now they want to teach it in elementary school. D is for drag. You can strut and dance in clothes that you love, dresses, heels, or pants. E is for equality. We're all on the same team. We all have the right to love, hope, and dream. F is for family. Related or found, they'll stick by your side through your ups and downs. G is for gay. It's a word that implies you're a girl who likes girls or a guy who likes guys. H is for hope. Dream up a life you'll love. The sky's the limit. Shoot for the stars above. I is for intersex. Some are born with the parts of both a boy and a girl. Bodies are works of art. J is for joy. You can sing, dance, and play. Find moments of sunshine in each and every day. K is for Kiki. When friends come together to catch up on the news, gossip, and the weather. I don't know what this term is. Unwokable says, Kiki is a term which grew out of the Black LGBTQ American social culture, is loosely defined as a gathering of friends for the purposes of gossiping chit-chat, and later made more widely known in the song Let's Have a Kiki by the Scissor Sister. Okay. All right. Now I understand. Now, now, now I, I under, yeah, I, I under, I understand now. You learn something new every day. Where was this book when I was eight years old? L is for lesbian. It's love and affection between two special girls who share a connection. M is for mountain. The peaks that you'll move with courage and strength found deep inside of you. N is for non-binary. You don't identify as just a girl or just being a guy. O 
is for orientation. It's a balance between who you are, who you love, and how you want to be seen. P is for pan. You connect with a vibe, no matter the gender. It's about what's inside. Q is for queer. An inclusive term, it's used to show pride, unite, and affirm. R is for respect, except for those gay people who don't like to be called queer, apparently. It's the right decision to treat everyone fairly. Make it your mission. S U, where T go? Oh, T is there. Okay. S U W and Y. Why are we looking at these separately? I was reading a story here on Wokeable. S is for sachet. A confidence feared stride to show off your attitude with pride. T is for trans. It's a brave step to take to live as the gender you know is innate. U is for unique. There's no one like you. Embrace who you are and love what you do. V is for Vogue. Time to strike a pose. Dance to music. Put on a show. Uh, W is for Wonder. With so much to know, always ask questions. To think, learn, and grow. X is for... X is for X. Yes, they literally said X is for X. You can write it down when M or F isn't the right noun. Y is right here. Y is for you. Brave, creative, and strong. You are special, loved, and you'll always belong. Did we do W? We didn't do W. W is for wonder. With so much to know, always ask questions to think, learn, and grow. And then we get to Z. Z is for zest. Be bold and live free. Magic awaits you, whoever you'll be. Who enjoyed learning the gay BCs? Who might be a little horrified at the gay BCs? Well, I have another special present for you guys. So, in honor of Ted Cruz talking about this at his uh, at the uh, confirmation hearings this week, I took him the liberty of ordering this book, Stamped for Kids. This is the book that Ted Cruz cited in the meeting. And what I thought I would do some point this week, maybe tomorrow, maybe on Tuesday, I'm not quite sure yet. But I thought what I'd do some point this week is read this book and tweet and get her out all of the crazy shit in it. You guys remember when I used to do this with White Fragility? I would read White Fragility live and then tweet out and underline all of the crazy shit in White Fragility. We're going to do this with a kid's book. That's going to come at some point this week. I don't think this is going to take me nearly as long as White Fragility. Look, they, they, it's pretty big type. I think it's going to take me like an hour or two. So that's going to be a fun project coming this week. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Gitter. Uh, and I will be, I'll be doing that little project and that'll be a fun old time. Guys, you're watching f News of the Week for March 27th, 2022. We still got some more stuff to go through, but please make sure you mount that like button for me. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel if, uh, if you are not already. And please make sure you pre-order my upcoming book, Actively Unwoke, on Amazon. The link is in the description or pinned to the top of the chat. You can also find it at ActivelyUnwoke.com. Actively Unwoke Doc is the ultimate guide for fighting back against woke nonsense in your life. You can pre-order the hardcover, the Kindle version, and the audiobook now. And it will be delivered to you on April 26th when it comes out. And I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to be doing lots of awesome stuff with Actively Unwoke moving forward over the next few months.